Alright, so only two more effect commands to go. The tremolo command works exactly like the vibrato command. It uses two different parameters, where the first one is the rate of the tremolo, how fast it goes, and the other one is depth, this is the amount of volume to alternate. So, why did I put this episode at the end of this tutorial? Well, this command is rarely used, and I've narrowed it down to two major reasons why I think people tend to stay away from this command. And first, I'm going to show you the command in action. So, I'll put a noting track 4 here. I'll use the 7 command with a low value for the rate and a higher one for the depth. And I want this to keep tremolo lo 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 so the first reason why I think people don't use this command is that you have more control over a tremolo with the A command, despite the fact that you are stuck to rows when doing that. The second reason I think is the zero tick problem. I'll decrease the tempo of this pattern to just 48 BPM, and listen closely now. As you can hear, the tremolo is stuttering. This is because of the way ProTracker handles the tremolo waveform. I'll make this easier to explain by adding the default pattern speed of F06 over here. Let's get technical. To create the waveform rate, ProTracker takes the parameter you've set for the rate, multiplies it by the number of ticks played on each row, this is the pattern speed, subtracted by 1, and divides it all by 64. So in this example here, this will result in the rate parameter 3, times the pattern speed of 6, subtracted by 1, divided by 64, leaving us with 0.234 oscillations per row, or 4.27 rows per oscillation, if you will. The problem is that tick 0 on every row is left out of this waveform. This becomes very clear when tick 0, that's the start of a new row, occurs when the tremolo amplitude is at a low value. So, to avoid this stuttering, you need to choose a pattern speed and a rate value that fit evenly in this equation. For example, F09 and 78A, which will give you exactly one oscillation per row and the skipped zero tick will not be noticeable. Let's try that. So, F09 and 78A. Let's hear it. <laughs> And since the 7 command is more or less a replica of the 4 command, Vibrato actually has this bug too, but it's not that noticeable when changing the frequency as it is with the amplitude. I'll talk more about this command in the next episode, where I'll show you how to potentially use this bug to your advantage. So thank you for tracking, please comment, and I'll see you in the last effect command episode.